Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Petruski and this is Dragon Ball Z Dogan Battle. Today we're gonna showcase Kefla. And I just found out Super Saiyan 3 <laughs> Goku Sea Awakening is back on JP. So we're gonna showcase her on this event. Just finished the first one. So we're gonna use the Botaric team using El Abichito and there you have it I only have one copy of her so I don't have dupes but this is gonna be the showcase about uh, how hard she will hit on Super Attack 10 and only one of her but this is gonna be fun um, she do need some orbs to get all those uh, attacks so we're gonna do this and she just need any orbs whatsoever but this stage is tough so we can say 752 from Gohan only 90% boosted but Kefla is at 799 on double El Abitito lead, Botara category, and she has additionals, and that is what is so great about her the having additionals and doing all this is pretty good. So, we're gonna try again, we're just gonna casually make this video around 15 to 20 minutes going through the way uh, what you see awakening event Super Sentry see awakening event so we can finally awaken our Super Sentry Goku on JP and next time I will showcase those three units that come from the new event uh, Khalifla, Kale, and Kape new event. You know, I'm gonna be showcasing them. So watch out for that. If you wanna see them, be sure to subscribe. But looks like we'll only be able to pick up I think it was seven orbs. Of course you're gonna do. So she will be hitting for 750. So there's a chance she, she will do a double super attack and always it is always pretty good and she has a chance to dodge as you have seen and that is pretty good. So let's just finish this one off and move on to the next one and we can then try again and see if we can get a lot of orbs so we hit over 1 million if we can do that that would be great but to be fair this event gets harder and harder and harder so his tanking ability will sky sky dive or sky high and will be tough to hit that 1 million mark there you go it's it's pretty good to have get those free orbs you know and we're at level 4 and already it's getting that boost and boost so, and perhaps in the following days we will get uh, we will showcase Kale, because but I'm farming her super attack, so that would take a while more than I would remember, because I don't have medals 
a lot of medals on this event and look at that she was tanking for 55 damage and that super tag is pretty pretty good why not do additional super tags you've been doing that before and unfortunately I don't have devil man on my JP so I cannot go around cannot go further than level 20 I think this is where you have you need to have resurrected warriors if you want to go to level 31 so you can fully awaken your Goku go to next level and it's safe to say she does fit on this team and she has a high attack stat so I can say I think she is a pretty good unit and she does fit quite well on this team and especially on Turin's team tournament of power even though Turin needs to get that awakening so I can properly showcase the man I got two dupes no no one dupe of him but I still need four guys to get him to super attack 10 and it'll be a while before I get to do that so let's just do this they don't have to super attack as long as we get all those orbs to Kepler she will finish it off and we have a lot of health 43 Kepler is doing 897 this time so I need to look at what her st uh, links are does she have awakening uh, attack links hmm. let's see we go to awaken state oh we have uh, attack and defense plus 12% per key sphere obtained medium chance to evade enemies attack including super attack launches an additional attack with a high which, which has a high chance to become a super attack so super saiyan is an attack link battlefield diva key tournament of power key plus three power bestowed by god attack 2500 Fuse fighters shattering the limit warriors so she has only two attack links but secretly lowers defense well can be useful in some other way and 12 key multiplier is 145 percent that's pretty good we will do a proper showcase in the near future where we have awakened all those three units and yeah that would be perfect so let's do this that would be great and let's just do that as well I see he's gonna super attack but I don't think that's a lot yeah that's not that's a lot that's pretty good 623 with four orbs that's still is a pretty good but she doesn't want to show additional super attacks lately she's been doing that no no she's been doing additional super attacks all all day long but now when I have the chance to showcase her she doesn't want to do that what a coincidence 
<coughs> so we're gonna move on to the next stage. Uh, VT2. I could use a base VT2, but I still need him to become LR before I put him on this team. So. We do get stones for this, so that's pretty good for us that doesn't have him awakened yet. And if I do have Devil Man, I will also go all the way up to level 30 again with this team. Unfortunately, I don't have Devil Man, so I cannot go beyond beyond level 30 with this team even though they are the best well you can say realm of gods category is now the best team perhaps but Patara category is still pretty pow powerful team and tournament of power category also is a uh, powerful as well as fusion category with the LR Kojita lead of course shadow dragons are still beastly with super saint for Kojita and super saint for Vichita and everything you know <coughs> we can argue all day long which team is best but You can say, I think every team is different depending on what units you have. For example, my Patara category is far better than Tournament of Power category because I don't have uh, Ultra Instinct Goku on this account. I'm just waiting. I don't have Khalifa either, but uh, it's still is a powerful category with cheering hitting that high especially when I put orbs into him and you know I have one one dupe of him so he can uh, get those criticals <coughs> part, part um, right open and once I get those orbs, I will potentially showcase Jiren. But that's all in the future for now. And let's see, we have to do this. So we can get all those orbs down to her. So I wonder how much damage she will do this time. And look at that. Tanking. So, 897 seems to be the highest I can go without using items. Oh, if we do have an orb changing unit besides Kefla, well, a unit that changes physical orbs perhaps, or no, I'm gonna, I don't know. But, she does have a good ability if she teams up with LR Gohan I think she will provide so many orbs for LR Gohan because LR Gohan hits a lot harder even though this LR Gohan is only Super Attack 10 he still hits for 1 million that show you the power of LR Gohan but Kefla I can say C becomes pretty good unit and belongs now on Potara category for now yeah she is pretty good unit Super Saiyan Link and Power Bestowed by God Link is pretty good considering so Let's do one last time 
and put our put your ranking of Kefla and we do need to get that nice I can say C is 8 out of 10 if I have dupes of her she will do critical hits and she will be a lot better but that's all in the future I guess if I ever pull another one of her I would I would I would take it I would take it I would definitely take it and I would say she is pretty good unit does fit in this team and yeah I'm pretty happy that I got her she is a pretty good unit uh, well let's finish this one and s we didn't get to showcase Kefla on this round but say she is pretty good we saw attacks that go all the way up to 897k damage if she does stack double damage as double super attack that is double 897,000 so she will be around 1.6 million and if she does have criticals she will hit a lot hard, harder so for now I say thanks for watching have a blast I'll see you in the next episode later you're the last thing